I'm here on uh, December 10th, 2013, and in Singapore at the TPP negotiation with Mas uh, Matthew Schul. And Matthew uh, works for uh, Inside U.S. Trade. Uh, and Matthew, uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, like how long have you been a journalist and where have you uh, worked as a journalist? Sure. Um, well, uh, I've been working at Inside U.S. Trade for about three and a half years. Uh, and before that, I worked uh, for a, a publication that is uh, put out by a think tank in Washington called the Inter-American Dialogue. It focuses on U.S.-Latin American relations. And uh, I kind of have a background in Latin America, having studied that a little bit and studied abroad in Latin America and speaking Spanish. Uh, so that's kind of why I gravitated toward that. And before that job, I was a Spanish teacher in a public school in Durham, North Carolina. I taught second and third grade uh, in an immersion classroom. Well, that must help you in this negotiation because there's uh, you know, there are a couple of uh, three countries from Latin America. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to say because uh, sometimes dealing with uh, politicians can be like dealing with children. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yes, uh, it does help me. Uh, you know, it, it. You know, I find that it. You know, if you speak the language, it kind of gives you an in uh, with with. Uh, you know those those people that you wouldn't normally have if you're just communicating in in English. Who are, who are the the, uh, ma the main audience for the articles that you write? The main audience for Inside U.S. Trade is uh, basically policy professionals who deal with trade policy on a daily basis as their their main uh, work. So it's a very technical uh, publication and. And what we really try to do is really try to get into the topics and ask the questions that these policy professionals would be asking. And when I say policy professionals, it's kind of a throwaway term, but what I mean is like U.S. government officials, congressional staff, lobbyists, foreign government officials, and companies. Uh, are really probably our main, you know, our main readers. And as I was saying, you know, we really try to to understand the issues. Uh, but really, the most important thing is to understand the right questions to ask that our readers would want to have answered. So then, you know, we can talk to. Uh, you know, once you understand the questions, then we talk to different sources and try to get an understanding of, of what's going on. We cover trade negotiations like the TPP. We also cover trade policy in Congress, so fast track uh, and other types of bills like preference programs. And we also cover you know, trade disputes between countries and uh, World Trade Organization, dispute settlement, that type of thing. So anything that's trade policy, we cover. What, what, uh, what parts of the uh, TPP are you focusing on in your uh, reporting this week in uh, Singapore? Well, um, I've covered pretty much all aspects of the TPP. I mean, one thing that the TPP countries have made clear for a long time in their public statements is that the most difficult outstanding issues are intellectual property, state-owned enterprises, environment, and market access. So, you know, when I think about what progress they would be trying to make at a meeting like this, uh, you know, I've got to think that with the ministers here, they're going to at least be thinking about those really difficult issues and if not solving them, thinking of maybe potential options or compromise lang proposal or language about how to how to overcome their differences, which are in fact quite big differences uh, on these areas. And how do the, uh, the, the journalists that are here, how do they uh, work together? Are, are the competitors? Are, are 
I mean, uh, what's the relationship between the journalists? Well, it's funny. I mean, uh, most of the press corps is uh, from Japan. Uh, someone told me today that they had counted about 60, 60 journalists uh, here from Japan. And many of the Japanese news outlets, most of them send more than one person, sometimes, you know, six or seven, and, you know, there's cameramen, and I mean, so, some of the, especially the, the news channels, have a pretty large contingent. Uh, and up until this round, Inside U.S. Trade has, uh, we, you know, we've been going to all the TPP rounds since uh, the beginning of 2011. Uh, and when they were held in the U.S., there was more of a U.S. Uh, presence of U.S. journalists. Uh, this year, most of the rounds have been in uh, Southeast Asia, and there have been very few U.S. journalists. Um, it's been dominated by the Japanese press corps, um, who are you know, very competitive, I think, amongst themselves, but I think we've found, uh, you know, I personally found, we made some good, good friends within the Japanese press corps, and we help each other out, uh, you know, when we can, because, uh, you know, they, they know a lot about Japan's perspective in the negotiations. Now, this meeting has been, uh, it's a bigger meeting, it's a ministerial meeting, and uh, there are some other U.S. Uh, publications that focus on trade policy here, um, and also uh, some international newspapers. So, amongst the non-Japanese core uh, press core, I think there's also a spirit of cooperation. I mean, we do compete, but you know, we're we all know each other and we're friends and we get along. And if someone if someone misses an interview, a, a press briefing, one person covers it and the other person doesn't, and then on the other hand, another person goes to another press briefing, you know, where I'm not there, then, you know, sometimes we share information just so, you know, we exchange information just to, to make sure that we're both being able to, to do the most thorough job that we can. Listen, thank you very much. Is there anything you'd like to add before I turn the camera off? No, it's been, uh, it's been fun. All right, thanks a lot.